بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين أما بعد with regards to the issue of having groups in social media like WhatsApp and Telegram and the likes where the participants and those who are in uh, the group are allowed to communicate with one another freely and to share posts back and forth freely in uh, that group then it is not allowed for the believing man and believing woman to be mixed in these groups together to be mixed in these groups together rather these groups should be separated the males with the males and the females with the females and this is in order to avoid the fitna and uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he has mentioned in his book وَلَا تَقْرَبُوا zina, and do not come near to a zina do not come near to fornication so from here the people of knowledge they mentioned that Allah he didn't say لَا تَزْنُوا do not commit fornication but rather he said do not come near fornication so this is an indication that uh, not only is fornication prohibited but likewise everything that is a means to lead to it everything that would lead to it so therefore speaking and uh, talking and hanging out and accompanying uh, and looking at the opposite sex and all of these affairs this is forbidden this is forbidden because it leads to zina and it's from the means that brings one close to zina and uh, allah he has forbidden even coming close to it and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he mentioned and do not follow the footsteps of shaitan because he only orders you with evil and indecency any fahsha any fornication and the likes from the indecent and the vulgar and the evil and disgusting acts and that you say about allah that which you have no knowledge so likewise it has come in the sunnah of the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that he's forbidden al khalwa that he has forbidden sallallahu alayhi wa sallam for a man to be alone with a woman that is not from his family and that yani a woman to be alone with a man that is not from her mahad this is not allowed that that is not allowed and uh, likewise the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he has mentioned that the women uh whenever they pray that the the, the last row is better than the first row and this is to be further away from the men and to be further away from mixing with the men and then this is in the case whenever the ranks are close to each other. Uh, and so the point is that this is something that is known. And uh, that mixing is a means that leads to fornication and it leads to fitna and trials and evil. and It leads to the corruption of the heart. And it's a dangerous affair. And it's a dangerous affair. And from the means of that it is to uh, be mixed in these groups, in these groups in WhatsApp and to communicate one for the other maybe a sister she'll make a post and then the man he'll be affected by that and and, and he will and he have an inclination to to her opinion or to her opposition or he'll like the way that she worded her yani uh, her post and then likes like this and therefore his heart will lean towards her or incline towards her and this is haram and not allowed or vice versa the sister will do the same th thing for the man or maybe they'll go further than that and then they'll look inside the group and they'll find each other's phone number and then uh, go to a private conversation one-on-one. One-on-one. One -on -one. And then from there, what do you have the billah? The, the zina could occur. The next step would come whenever they would meet and then they would touch. And then next thing I know, they have fallen into that which is forbidden. So therefore, these are the steps that lead to that. And this is why they're forbidden. This is why they're forbidden. It's forbidden to talk. It's forbidden to touch. It's forbidden to communicate because these these are the steps that lead to that. And Allah, He said, "Wa la azina," and do not come near to it, and do not come near to it. So therefore, the brothers and sisters they should fear Allah. So therefore, the brothers and sisters they should fear Allah Subhanahu wa Taala with regards to these groups, these majmuat and WhatsApp and the likes, and they should be shy. They should be shy and have chastity. And they should have a majmua that is specific for the men and for the brothers alone, with no women in it whatsoever. And likewise, the women, they will have their own. They will have their own groups and majmuaat specifically for the females, for the sisters, alone, with no men in it whatsoever. And even if the people in those groups, the men and the women, 
they're related in some manner, but the, one is not the mahram of the other. Then still, likewise, it's not allowed to mix, like cousins, for example. A man is a cousin to a woman. It's allowed for him to marry his cousin. He's not a mahram for her. He's not a mahram for her. So therefore, it's not allowed for them to mix freely. It's not allowed for the cousins and, and the likes uh, to mix freely in this manner. Anyone who is not a mahram for a, another a woman, it's not allowed for them to mix freely and to speak freely. And, and, and the likes like this, all of this leads to fitna and leads to trials and is forbidden in Al-Islam. Walillahi alhamd. May Allah give the believer success. Wallahu alim wa sallallahu ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.